The Jolly Mon by Jimmy Buffett and Savannah Jane Buffett. Once upon a time, in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, there was a little island called Banana Land. Had it not been for the threat of pirate ships, Banana Land would have been the most peaceful place on earth. The islanders grew up healthy and strong from eating bananas they pulled from trees in the rainforest and fish they caught on the shores of Snapper Bay. Each day at dawn, the fishermen carried frying pans down to the beach. As the sun came up, they sang a song so magical that the fish jumped out of the sea and into their frying pans. The fishermen kept only what they needed and threw the rest back into Snapper Bay. One fisherman had a sweeter voice than all the rest. They called him the Jolly Mon. He could sing more fresh fish out of the ocean than anyone. One morning, when the Jolly Mon went down to the beach to sing for his breakfast, he discovered a beautiful guitar floating in Snapper Bay. Quickly, he waded into the water and pulled it out. It was a magnificent instrument. Conch pearls lined the neck, and coral starfish and seahorses glistened around the sound hole. Painted on the back, a white dolphin swam through stars made of sparkling diamonds. When the Jolly Mon saw these stars, he recognized the constellation of Orion. Below, inscribed in gold, were these words. I come from the ocean with songs of the sea. No lesson for learning, just play upon me. Now go make your music in lands near and far. Orion protects you wherever you are. The Jolly Mon had never played a guitar before, but the moment his fingers touched the strings, he knew how to play. He was amazed. It was as if his hands had a mind of their own. He played and played and played. People from all over the island heard the music and ran to Snapper Bay. The Jolly Mon told them what had happened. Soon, good King Jones, the ruler of all Banana Land, arrived. When he heard the story, he declared that the people of Banana Land should build a boat so his dear friend, the Jolly Mon, could follow the instructions on the magic guitar and share the happiness of his music with other islands. The people of Banana Land brought mahogany logs from the rainforest and cut them into planks that the boat builders shaped into a beautiful hull. The fishermen made sails from their best canvas and painted the white dolphin on the mainsail. After the work was done each day, the Jolly Mon studied the night sky and watched the stars of Orion rise in the east and travel across the heavens. These were the stars he would steer by. When the boat was finished, good King Jones declared a holiday. All the people of Banana Land came to Snapper Bay to wish the Jolly Mon well. Princess Marigold, the king's lovely daughter, broke a bottle of coconut milk on the shiny new boat. I christen thee Orion, the king said, in honor of the stars that will guide thee. Take our beloved Jolly Mon and his magic guitar to spread joy wherever he goes and return him safely to us. The princess gave the Jolly Mon the royal spyglass to watch for pirates and a purple scarf for good luck. Then the Jolly Mon raised the mainsail and headed out to sea. The stars shone brightly and the wind was fair. It took the Jolly Mon far, far away. From Pumpkin Island to Parrot Key, from Mango Bay to Lemon Land, the Jolly Mon sang. The people of the islands loved to see him come, and they were sad to see him go. They brought him gifts and things to eat and books to read as he made his way through the islands. A few times, the Jolly Mon spotted pirates in the distance, but the Orion was so swift the pirates couldn't follow. One day, as the Jolly Mon sailed along, a delicious scent of fresh-baked coconut floated by on the breeze. He turned the Orion in the direction of the wonderful aroma, and that afternoon he spotted the island that smelled so good. 
he lifted his spyglass. People on the beach were beckoning him ashore. It was the loveliest island he had ever seen. Thousands of coconut trees lined pink beaches, and he made his way up the channel toward a small village on the shore. The people of Coconut Island had heard about the Jolly Man and his magic guitar. They had waited and watched for the ship with the dolphin sail. Every day they had baked coconut cakes, hoping the smell would hurry the Jolly Man to their island. They were the friendliest people he had met on his long journey. The Jolly Man stayed a long time on Coconut Island and sang every song he knew. When he couldn't think of any more, he just made up new songs on the spot. But one day, a ship brought sad news from Banana Land. Good King Jones had died. Princess Marigold missed the Jolly Man greatly and needed him to return home to cheer up the people of Banana Land. The Jolly Man was very sad when he heard of the death of his friend. That afternoon, the people of Coconut Island filled the Orion with fish and fruit and bade the Jolly Man a fond farewell. They waved to him from the beaches as the boat with the white dolphin on its mainsail disappeared into the horizon. The Jolly Man had crossed the entire Caribbean Sea on his journey, and he missed his people and his little island. So he put up all the sails the Orion could carry, and now he headed for home as fast as the wind would take him. One night, as he studied the stars, a strange light flickered ahead of him. He steered for the light, and as he got closer, the Jolly Man saw that it wasn't a light at all. It was a burning ship, and cries of, Help! Help! filled the air. The Jolly Man bravely steered close to the ship, ready to rescue the stranded crew. Suddenly, fierce-looking strangers leaped onto the deck of the Orion and surrounded the Jolly Man as he stood by the wheel. The ship wasn't really a fire. It was a trick. The Jolly Man had been captured by one-eyed Rosie and her gang, the most feared pirates in the Caribbean Sea. They tied him up and set about the Orion looking for valuables. One-eyed Rosie knew all about the Jolly Man. People, she sneered, were not meant to be as happy as you make them. She put her cutlass to the Jolly Man's throat. Just then, one of the pirates came up from below, clutching the magic guitar. He tried to pry the diamonds and pearls, but the gems wouldn't come loose. The pirates tried to smash the guitar, but it would not break. My guitar has powers of its own, the Jolly Man told One-Eyed Rosie. It should not be abused. This made the pirates so furious they dragged the Jolly Man to the bow of the Orion. It's a watery grave for you, one of them shouted. They were about to throw him into the sea when one-eyed Rosie stopped them. She shoved the guitar at the Jolly Man. Play, she ordered. The Jolly Man put his trembling hands on the strings. The power took over and he sang. Under the heavens and under the sea, there's a friend I don't know who holds the right key. The Jolly Man's voice was so sweet it made one-eyed Rosie's blood boil with anger. That's quite enough, Mr. Jollyman, she yelled. You've sung your last song. The pirates yanked the guitar away from the Jollyman. They wrapped him in chains and tied an anchor to his feet. Then one-eyed Rosie pushed him into the sea. As the Jollyman sank to the bottom, he thought about Princess Marigold and Banana Land. He would never see them again. He could not free himself from the chains, and he was almost out of breath when a sudden swirl of bubbles made it possible for him to breathe underwater. He thought he was either dead or dreaming, but then he saw the dolphin. It was the same white dolphin that was painted on the guitar, and it untangled the Jollyman's chains and freed him. 
Together, they rose to the surface in time to see the pirates towing away the Orion. People were meant to be as happy as you make them, said the dolphin, sliding beneath the jolly man. My name is Albion, he said. I have come to take you home. Climb aboard and don't let go. The long journey home on the dolphin's back took so much strength that the jolly man was barely alive when Albion finally laid him on the shores of Snapper Bay. He was ill for many days, and when he could speak again, his first words were of the dolphin. Albion, he said. Princess Marigold came to his side. Albion saved your life and led us to one-eyed Rosie. Now her band of cutthroats are locked up where they can do no harm. But my guitar, my boat, moaned the jolly man. Enough, said the princess. Drink this jasmine tea. Then Princess Marigold took the jolly man by the hand and led him down to the shores of Snapper Bay. The jolly man looked, rubbed his eyes, and started to laugh with joy. There, Sitting at anchor in the bay was the Orion, dancing lightly on the waves, and leaning against a palm tree on the beach was the magic guitar. The jolly man turned the guitar over, but the painting of the white dolphin had disappeared. Albion, he cried. I'm right here. A familiar voice replied, and there was Albion, splashing in the shallow water. Yes, jolly man, you have brought happiness to all of the islands, but now it is time for you to stay home. Princess Marigold and the people of Banana Land need you. They have chosen you to be their new king. Rule well, and if you need me, all you have to do is sing. Albion dove beneath the waves. A few seconds later, he leaped out of the sea and did not come down. He flew up into the night, and his shadow passed in front of the silver moon that hung over Snapper Bay. Then he disappeared into the sky, heading toward Orion. The jolly man waved goodbye, and then he picked up his guitar to play. I come from the ocean with songs of the sea. No lesson for learning, just play upon me. Now go make your music in lands near and far. Orion protects you wherever you are. The island people say that the jolly man lived a long and happy life. He sang and played his beautiful guitar, and he ruled Banana Land with wisdom. Sometimes he sailed the Orion to see his friends in other places across the Caribbean Sea. From Coconut Island to Parrot Key, from Mango Bay to Lemon Land, they loved to see him come, and they were sad to see him go. Legend has it that when he was very, very old, the jolly man sang his last song for Albion, who came back and took him up into the sky. And now... When the island people wish upon a star, they see the dolphin and the jolly man and his magic guitar. <laughs>